What is going on boys and girls, it's your boy back with another video and today we are going to do a video um, which I've thought about a bit and um, which my friend uploaded onto his YouTube channel um, Military Group. So I'm reacting to my friend's video from the YouTube channel Military Group, okay? And today the video is about why soldiers hate Milsim and I think this is really interesting because I haven't actually played Milsim yet but um, some of the points this geezer raised I have seen myself uh, so yeah, before we get into that, I need to give my post notification shout out. This is for everyone that has joined the Giza Garrison, which is my Discord, which I made for all my subscribers to like chill in, talk about airsoft, military so stuff, etc, etc, okay? So this is for someone who has liked the video, subscribed, and is following me, and is just basically supporting me in my channel, okay? So, my GG MVP goes out to Skin Boner Vet. Skin burner. congratulations bro on your shout out. I see you in there being active and being a part of the Giza Garrison, so well done mate. Give me some skin. Okay, and also guys, if you want some merch, I still have a couple left. You can DM me on Instagram for some, if you want some names Nico merch, DM me on Instagram, okay, and I will send you one over. Without further ado, roll the clip. At the beginning, when we started to play Airsoft, we had a lot of fun. We were looking for some kind of cardio sport that will be different from others. So we found Airsoft and we were like, oh, we just need some gear and stuff. Which, Airsoft is really good cardio sport. It's probably one of the reasons, I would say it's one of the main reasons why I got into Airsoft, but it, it really is a good cardio sport. Especially if you like, you know, you're trying and you're running around a lot. It's actually really good cardio. To try and not eat, eat all the crap and go to KFC and Burger King after. Stuff. And many of those things we already have because we're in military, stuff like uniforms, vests, helmets. We just have to buy some face protection away when I left us a few men. So we got them and we started to play with local airsoft players. They were very positive about it, that active soldiers were playing with them. And they were like, oh it's cool, you can definitely join us. We also recorded videos about these games. By the way, you can stop this video and check them in the description below. There are a few of them. And we were really excited about this sport. It was loads of fun, but later we were seeing things that were really mm. weird. It is, it is a lot of fun. More and more people who were acting like they were in special forces with all the knowledge. They were commenting on everyone's tactics, gear, also. Now, I feel like I've been very lucky with the sites that I play at. South Coast CQB, most of the marshals are, are ex-army themselves. Um, and the people that play there, like, obviously we all buy the kit, we all love the kit, but like, I feel like, especially UK Airsoft, like English Airsoft needs to give themselves a pat on the back, mate, because, um, we don't get real salty, uh, about hits, we, you know, we aren't puss, we aren't pussies where it's like one or two shots, like, we don't, I don't mind getting lit up, other people don't mind getting lit up as part of Airsoft, isn't it? But I haven't actually come across, I think I've come across one or two people that have, like, really cringed me out, like talking about like kit they've got and like specific bits of training they've had and stuff like this um but most of all like i haven't really i haven't really come across anyone who thinks they're proper sf i mean like that would just that's embarrassing like it's airsoft you know it takes more than knowing a bit a bit of kit and like done a couple of bit of training here and there like sf guys are warriors like fucking old school kill you and all your family like warriors like you don't fuck with them and you know airsoft and the armor they completely do two different things airsoft and sf blokes like come on bro like <laughs> do you know what i mean we're always trying to have fun that's my opinion on it so correcting others where they supposed to place their pouches they were trying to use military yeah there's just no need for that is there uh, personally i don't have any problem with this but first of all it's totally up to them Sorry for stopping it, but I've got to speak about this. Also, military tactics don't actually work in airsoft. In my opinion, why it works for me is like muscle memory and just like what I've been trained just happens naturally. But like bounding, bounding actually kind of works. But then everyone's like, oh, it's pre-fire. But like, if you need to move to a position, you have to suppress that position. It's not pre-firing 
like you know if you were trained you would know that that's actually suppressing a position you have to be able to suppress a position to move or else there's no way you're going to get close to the enemy do you know what i mean but except for like bounding forwards and backwards like airsoft's a completely different sport you've got to be quick agile aggressive like you know in real in real like training and wartime you, you know it's slow and like you don't want to die like, like do you know what i mean how do you want to play the game but the problem was those guys were very arrogant yeah, they sure. were looking at the other players like they are something less than them and every time when something went wrong they blamed everyone around them but not themselves yeah there's just no need for that we just don't see any reason why we should use military tactics in toy gun fights it was a lot more fun when we were just running and rushing everything and as you can see in the videos it was even more effective yeah of course after that we started to see all those things more and more how wrong and cringy mm. many of these people behave. I agree. We just wanted some fun, not to hear players, how they blame each other or argue and are so toxic. We just... Now, it's kind of sad because I, I was actually speaking to this guy. He commented on my videos. So I started speaking to him and he's actually not playing Airsoft as much anymore, purely for this reason, um, which is a bit sad. But like, like I said, I feel like I'm blessed where I play, especially in the UK as well. Like, I feel like... Um, but at least the people that I play with and where I'm from, like, they understand the difference. And um, also, a lot of them are just there for fun, do you know what I mean? Like, of course they love the kit, and of course they want to get better at airsoft, but they understand the difference and they want to have fun. It's my experience so far. I've met a couple of people um, who, you know, I can kind of tell they, 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 they think that it's more than airsoft, but, you know, like, it's not didn't understand how those people can take this game so seriously because it is something very similar to paintball but players just have military outfits gear and the babies are a lot smaller yeah the difference between airsoft and paintball is that airsoft players who want to look like soldiers sure. but they're fakes especially this type of players that take it too seriously they don't realize it's a now this is where I kind of disagree with him a bit. I, I understand if, like, you know, like, soldiering and airsoft, you run around with something that fires projectiles at somebody else, right? You're going to need a specific kind of kit that's not going to break, that's easy to pull magazines out of or to get rid of magazines whilst you're on the move, and that's the same kit as real steel kit. So, in a way, I understand where he's, com where he's coming from, but in another way, uh, I don't agree with him because you're gonna need that kit to be like fast and effective on the battlefield of airsoft. You know, like all my kit that you like, all my kits like similar to real steel stuff. Not just because I want to be quick and effective, like you know, having fun essentially in airsoft is getting loads of kills and being like at one with your kit. Do you know what I mean? So, I do understand where he's coming from, but at the same time, I'd rather be faster grabbing my mags and more effective because I want to enjoy playing airsoft, do you know what I mean? The toy gun fight and they take it like some kind of military training. It has nothing to do with real firefights. It just looks similar on photos, but it's something completely different. And it's a real yeah. pain to see how many of those guys are so pathetic, cringy and childish. Now let me tell you something. It's nothing like military training. I served five years in the army. As you can see in all my videos, blah, blah, blah. Just scroll down, you'll see them. Um, military training is fucking boring, all right? You're on stag with a BFA on your fucking SA-80A2. You've had about three hours sleep. You're fucking piss-wrapped. You you know, you have about an hour sleep in your gump bag, and then you get kicked in the heads working up for stag to then be back in your gump bag. And it's like, you know... You get more action in airsoft, but then on a jet, like you know, you have to get to shoot somebody in airsoft. Like the only good bits of training I had was pre-deployment for Afghan, and like when we went Cope Hill down. But that was still it was um, the only simulation bit was uh, pre-deployment. No, the only simulation bit was in RSOI in Afghan. Like military training is boring, so like it's, a, it's it's massively different. Obviously, the dry drills are very important, and understanding how to clear a room and all the the tactics you get taught. Right, that bit's actually interesting. So, it is very different. I met so many new friends and awesome people in this sport. And all of them were taking it as a fun. Which this sport is really about. Because only in the that. airsoft you can wear a special forces patch and not be able to run two miles. Only in airsoft, milsim or it's up to you how you want to call it, 
you're able to be a commander without any knowledge and you can become yeah that that i'd never do that i'd never do but at the same time what this guy's got to understand is that he's still serving uh, now I'm out, I feel like I can speak for both sides, for civvies and for soldiers. When you're a soldier, you're trained to be the best. You're trained to be very arrogant. You're trained to be very narrow-minded, right? Because you've got to believe in yourself and your own abilities, yeah? What I feel like this guy doesn't understand is, is that people are generally fans, are generally very enthusiastic about the SAS or SEALs, and they want to be them, do you know what I mean? For a day, for a weekend. And that's why they put the, the flashes on, right? Because the fans, it's just like wearing like a Man United shirt, right? Now, if you're in and you're serving like I was, I would not dare touch an SAS flag, um, put it on my kit, a tutu uh, badge, flash. I wouldn't even put it on my kit, on me. I wouldn't dream of doing it because I understand that that's like giving yourself entitlement that you don't deserve. And like, you know, very, very few can even be part of that club, right? It, so I understand where he's coming from, but at the same time, he's got to remember that p some people are genuinely like fans of the special forces, you know? Completely stupid, and no one will care because you created the event. You can't be older than 30, grow yourself a beard, have a big belly, <laughs> act like a, a military belly. veteran. But for all people around you, you are just a grown-up um, child. I feel like he's going a bit far with to be honest. It was awesome experience mm. to play with local players that take the airsoft as a fun. But if you take it so seriously, why didn't you enlist? Because you're weak and you need to boost your ego by wearing uniforms and acting like a soldier? Well, this is what is ruining this game. And this is also what so many players told us. Well, and this is why we don't see airsoft as a fun anymore. More you play, more you see all this nonsense. People wearing patches they don't deserve. Arguing it is reenactment. Well, in reenactment, you are just acting like a regular special unit because you want to. There is no other reason. It's all because you just want to act like specific unit. And for us, it's a stolen valor. Okay. I'm gonna stop the video there. I understand what the guy's saying. I understand where he's coming from because when I was fresh out the army and I tried airsoft, I was getting cringed out a lot by like what people were wearing. Um, what people were doing, how they were talking, and um, as I became more of a civilian, my judgmental barriers came down, and the thought process came through my head of like, people having fun, let them have fun. This is the normal world now. I'm not in the army where a certain badge means you're a fucking superhero, right? And like, it takes... It takes endless amounts of years to get there and like hideous training like you see in movies like that shit is so realistic like to be part of the special forces and 2-2 you have got to pull your soul out of your body to put it to the side and absolutely obliterate yourself for like a year straight like in navin mental attitude fitness until you you know your fingers are bleeding and then put your soul back in and maybe they'll accept you right and I understand where it's coming from, that people wear these badges um, and dress up as S SF and they're a plumber. And like, you know, they've got no, had no training, blah, blah, blah. But that's, let people do that, mate. Like, in my opinion, so what? Like, let them enjoy themselves. Let them, let them do stuff they've only seen in movies. That's the beauty of Airsoft. That's the whole, the, he's a civilian for a reason and he's a fan. Like, I understand where this guy's coming from. I just don't agree because, you know, I, I have served and now I'm a civilian and I understand both points. But I feel like this guy's still serving, he's still got like them kind of judgmental barriers up and it's not his fault. It's not his fault, it's just the way he's been trained. If he's infantry, uh, then I'll, I understand where he's coming from. Um, but to wrap this up, I feel quite lucky from the grounds I, that I haven't tried any milsim yet purely for that reason because I feel like it would just cringe me out too much. Plus. I'm not paying to be on stag. I used to get paid to be on stag, so <laughs> do you know what I mean? But comment down below, guys, if you think I should try out Milsim. Um, this is a very interesting debate. What do you guys think? Anyway, this has been your boy. Take it easy. Take care. Peace. Better subscribe to Names Nico or else, and you better like it too. Or oh, why I order. <laughs>